Now, when it comes to customizing WooCommerce using tools like Elementor, a lot of plugins give you all the controls you need for the single product page and the archive pages, those kinds of things. But one area that doesn't always get a lot of love is the My Account section. Today, we're going to be using Shop Engine Pro to customize and create our own My Account section in our online store. This is a sponsored video by Shop Engine, but as always, I won't be giving you any opinions. Okay, so this is the kind of thing we're going to look at creating. It's a very simple example, but once you've seen how easy it is to start customizing, you can just go as far as you want to, to create as unique a My Account section as you need to. Now, Shop Engine makes it incredibly easy to replace any of the key pages that are part of WooCommerce. All we need to do is make sure we've got Shop Engine and Shop Engine Pro installed. We'll have a new entry now inside our dashboard under Shop Engine. And if we go into the Builder Templates option, inside there, we can now customize things. So you can see I've already created a couple of templates in the previous videos. If you'd like to check out how to get started using Shop Engine, both the free and the pro version, check out the link you can see in one of the corners right now. All we need to do is go ahead and choose the template we want to create or customize and then start working from there. And then we can activate it and set this to replace the existing standard WooCommerce one. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on Add New. This then allows us to choose the template type, name it, and pick some of the predefined designs if we want to, and also set this as default. So what we need to do, first of all, is choose the type. You can see if we open this up, we've got a lot of different templates we can actually go in and customize. Now, we've taken a look at some of these in previous videos, but for this example, we're going to start with the My Account dashboard. Then I'm going to show you a couple of other examples, but we're not going to cover everything because the process is pretty much exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the account dashboard to start off with. So let's choose that. Now let's go ahead and just give this a name. So we're going to call this account dashboard. We'll pop custom at the end of it so we know it's a customized version. So now what we need to do is choose to set this as default. And you can see underneath we've got a couple of examples. Now these are really relatively basic, but they're a great starting point if you want to speed up the whole process of designing things. We'll start with a simple blank template though for this example so I can show you totally from scratch. So as we set this to default, we can choose now to save the changes or save it and go straight into Elementor. Let's do that. Let's edit with Elementor. And now we've got the typical Elementor screen. If we take a look on the left hand side, you can see we've now got a lot of options to do with Shop Engine. Because we're dealing with the templates for Shop Engine, you can see these are the key tools that we have available. So if we scroll on through, you can see we have lots of Shop Engine options. And if we carry on scrolling, you can see we've also got the normal standard Elementor tools as well. So the basic favorites, those kinds of things. So we can use any of these to design our entire layout. Let's scroll back up. Let's go ahead now and insert our basic starting points. So we're going to add a new section and we'll set this to be a two column section. We'll choose the option, go into advanced, and we're just going to quickly apply a little bit of space at the top and the bottom to give us some breathing room. Let's go back into our widgets. And now if we take a look, you can see we've got Shop Engine General. And inside here, you can see there's lots of different options. But if you scroll down, you can see we've got a dedicated section for my account. So this is where all of the different widgets are available to customize the whole shop account section. So first of all, let's go ahead and grab the option for the navigation on the left hand side. So we'll grab the account navigation, drop that in the left hand side. And you see now that pulls in the standard default layout. So now we can go ahead and we can customize this. We can customize the navigation list itself. We can change the list style, the colors. We can adjust the container itself, the pad in the margins, background color. And under advanced, we can also go into the layout options and we can customize various different aspects inside here. So let's go back to our styles. Let's go ahead and just change some of these over. We can use any of the colors. We can use custom colors, or we can go ahead and use any of our global styling colors. For this example, if we choose the black, you can see that now sets all of our links to be this black color. We can set our hover color, so we can come in, choose a custom color, or go ahead and use our saved color. So we can choose this yellow color, and you can see now when we hover over, we've got our accent color is now showing up on hover. So let's go ahead. Choose our typography so we can use the default so that will pick up the global styling or we can quite easily just come in and put something totally unique in. So let's just say we wanted Montserrat, for example. We can select that, adjust our font size, our weight, all those kinds of things to customize this to get exactly what we want. So there's the basics of our navigation setup. If we want to, we can also get rid of the container. So you can see we can set the patterns and margin, the border color. So we can easily get rid of the border color completely. So we have no border on there, or we can set it to any of our global colors, whatever we kind of want to do. So let's just, for this example, set this to yellow so you can see it. It's going to look pretty ugly, but you kind of get where we're coming from with this. And we can now go ahead and customize any other aspects we want. For now, let's leave that as it is. 
So next up, we can go into the right hand column and start to collect, create exactly what we need in there. So again, let's click on the plus. Let's go over to our shop engine, my account options. And inside there, you can see we've got the account dashboard, which is basically that sort of welcome. Again, you don't need to use that if you want to. You could create something totally unique inside you. You said all the normal options you have as part of Elementor. If you use an Elementor Pro, you could also pull in dynamic information, those kinds of things. So lots of options. Let's just put the account dashboard in for now, though. Let's drop that inside there. And you can see we get the standard welcome. And again, we now have options for text color, the user color, link colors, those kinds of things. So we can customize this completely to our heart's content. Let's go ahead, change our link, color, our basic color. We'll set that to the same as our navigation. Let's go ahead as well. We can change any of the typography so we could easily come in again, set this to be Montserrat like we've done previously. Change the font weight. You can see we can customize all aspects of this however we want to. So we set that to 300 as well. Set this back to 600 so those highlighted sections are still highlighted. And if we want to, we can change the link color and we can set this to be our global color for yellow. So let's go and do that. You can see that updates things now. So you can see we can pick these global colors up very, very easily. Again, we've got the typography options coming to advanced, all the layout options inside there. So we've now created our custom welcome page for our accounts. So let's just update that. Let's hop back over to our previous. We'll come into our dashboard. And you can see that's now picked up our style using the custom design we've just created. That's how easy it is. So now what we need to do is go back in and start creating the other templates and styling those. So let me just quickly show you how we can do a couple more of these, see some of the options that are available. And like I say, then just go with your imagination, create whatever the heck you want. So let's just come back over. Let's go back out of this, exit to our dashboard, exit back out of this. And come back in we're into our builder templates one more time so let's just do the same thing again let's go add new change this over and this time we're going to go to our orders so we'll select that option we give it a name set this to be default and again we'll choose to edit this with elemental now as always you can always create basic templates and you can pull those in so instead of having to go through the same process every single time of creating that layout putting the navigation on the left hand side however you want to do it you can just as easily create a section template page template whatever you want to do and assign that inside here so let's just keep this really simple we'll select this first option again we're going to do the same so come into our advanced set our spacing to 75 above and below so again, let's come over to our widgets on the left hand side. And if we scroll down, you can see we get shop engine, my account. But now we have a different selection of widgets because this is a specific template. And these are kind of tailored to whatever template you're currently creating or editing. So we do have the option for account navigation, which we can pop into the left hand side. You can see again, that just comes in with the default styling, which we can customize. Won't worry about that right now. But then all we need to do is come over to the right hand column and choose this time my account orders pop that over into there and you see that now brings our orders in so we've now got our table set up our orders inside there and we've got full control now over the styling the typography spacing those kinds of things so again we can just make sure that everything is in keeping so we'll just choose this color set our background if we want to typography we'll just come in we'll change this over to Montserrat like I say you would generally tend to use the option for global styles just to speed this whole process up but I just want to show you how easy it is to have full control of things come into your table body we can do the same thing again we can change our link color so we could easily come in here choose our yellow color which is our kind of global style choose our text color if we want to our hover cover color text typography so again let's just come in set this to be Montserrat 400 we'll change that to 300 to be in keeping and you can see everything is now picking things up We've also got options then for the border type. So if we want to change that, we can set this to dotted, for example. You can set it to, to groove. You can set it to whatever you want out of all the options, or you can completely get rid of it and have a nice clean look with no lines being shown up on there at all. So everything is really easy to do. You can adjust your padding. You can come into your address details, your action buttons. All those options are fully configurable. So let's just come into our button and let's set this now to be bought in keeping. So what we'll do is we'll just choose the option for the view button. We'll set our typography color and we'll set this to be our white color. Our background color, we're going to set to that almost black. So now we've got a nice look. Let's go to our hover section. Set our background color to our yellow color. Set our color for the typography to the black. And now we've got 
the styling being in keeping with exactly what we have a part of our overall site design. You can also come into the pagination option. So when you have a lot more orders, then you can have those styled out as well. And again, you've got your advanced options for all your padding, your margins, those kinds of things. So let's just update this page. We've now created our second page, which now gives us our order information. So again, let's hop back over. Let's just go into our orders this time. And you can see there's our orders page. Our buttons are all set up. Everything is working the way you want. Now, if we click on view, obviously that's going to take us over to a completely unstyled layout. So let's take a look at the order section now and do that, set that up to show you how easy it is. So let's create that template one more time. Let's go to add new, change this up from single. We're going to come into my account order details. We'll just change this over to order details. Set this to default and just choose the option for the basic blank design. Edit this with Elemental. But this time I'm going to show you not only how we can do this, but how we can start to pull in some additional data if you wanted to customize this even further. So let's come over and create our two column layout one more time. Let's give ourselves our space in all the same things we've done right up till this point. On the left hand side, we're going to simply come down and grab our account navigation. Come back over and this time we're going to grab that option for account order details. So there's all our details. We know we can customize all this, so we have all those controls. But let's just see how easy it is now to go ahead and add something else in. Let's just say we wanted to put the user's details at the top of this navigation on the left-hand side. Well, let's see, if we come back over to our widgets, what we can do now is we can go ahead and we can add in anything we want from the standard options. So let's grab this image and pop that above the navigation. Let's go ahead and choose a dynamic tag from here. So in this example, we want the user profile picture. We'll select that, and you can see that now pulls my image in. We can then go ahead and set this the align the way we want to. We can also go in and set any styling we want up, so we can easily come in and adjust everything on here. So let's set our border radius to something like 50 all the way around, so that gives us a nice round image. And then underneath, let's go ahead and just add in some text, and we put some information about this being me. So we'll just go ahead, drop a heading underneath there, and we'll just change this to something like a P tag. So what we need to do now is to customize this, is click on dynamic tags, scroll through until we find the option for user info. We'll expand that, click on the little wrench icon, and we can now go ahead and choose display name, username, whichever one of these we want to use. So let's just say display names, so it'll pull up whatever I'm logged in as, and there we go. And we can come into advanced, and we can just say welcome. And we've now created a welcome message, our profile picture included in this. So you can see we can combine all these different elements together really, really easily. And now we want to, we can easily go ahead, style this. So again, we can come into our styling options. Let's set this to be center aligned. Come into styling, text color, we'll leave that as it is. We'll come into our typography and we'll just set this to match everything else. So we'll set that to Montserrat one more time. So everything is now styled up, set that to 16 and we'll set our weight to be 300 as well. So now we've seen how easy it is to not only customize the pages using the built-in options inside Shop Engine Pro, but also how we can combine that with the options inside Elemental Pro if you're using that to create something truly unique, totally customized using standard options alongside Shop Engine Pro options. Finally, let's just go ahead and update this and we'll take a look at this page in action. So there's our previous example. You can see nothing is really styled inside there. Let's refresh this. And now we've got a totally unique design. Admittedly, it looks pretty ugly, but what this is demonstrating is how easy it is to create these custom pages, build out what you want, add in any custom information you want to use in dynamic data alongside Shop Engine Pro to create a totally unique account dashboard for your WooCommerce stores. Now, this is just scratching the surface of what you could do with the combination of Elemental Pro and Shop Engine Pro. Hopefully what you've seen though is it's not difficult to start building out these custom My Account sections and all the other options you have as part of Shop Engine and Shop Engine Pro. If you want to check out more about these, check out the link in the description and in the corner right now so you can take a look at the full playlist on how to get started building custom shops using WooCommerce alongside Shop Engine Free and Pro. As always, all the applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.